Hello everybody. Today I am doing a little art journal kind of video with you guys. Um, this little art journal that I am working in, I made a while ago and I've been wanting to use it up. Well, not use it up, but just find a purpose for it for a while. Um, and recently Megan from Megan in the Moon has created a new channel called Art Witch Tarot. Um, here on YouTube and she is sharing some really fun like she's she's pulling out tarot cards about the energy of the month and then she's creating a art journaling prompt to use with that kind of in mind and this month um, is her first month doing it and I'm really excited about it and that's that um, little art journal prompt I'm going to be doing inside of this little book. So for this month's prompt she had one about doors and possibilities behind those doors and things like that. So I absolutely jumped in on this and wanted to create along and do the same thing. So I um, ha am flipping through these magazines here looking for images of doors. Um, I really wanted to use magazine images that just felt uh, right for me. It felt like that's that resonated with what I wanted to do here. So I'm just flipping through looking for door images. I really underestimated how hard it was going to be to find good door images. I thought it was going to be quite simple and it turned out actually taking me quite a long time to find images of doors that I was happy with. But in the end we did get some. Um, so I was pleased with that. And this whole process really sparked a just desire to be playing with magazine images again. Honestly, since I did this spread, I have been cutting up magazines like a crazy woman, just obsessively wanting to find images in magazines at the moment, loving it. So here I am going into the pages that I tore out of the magazines and just cutting out the doors that I had found that I thought I might want to use. Um, yeah, so I found those little small brown doors. There was this larger red door that I had there. And um, then there's kind of like this gate, but it felt very much like it could work. It, I, I mean, it's it's still a door, isn't it, really? Um, then this open door at the end of this hallway. Then there's that white door. Um, yeah, so I don't know, just a bunch of doors, all in different sizes, different styles um, and that's that's what I wanted I was looking for a good variety of doors here uh, and then I also cut out that pink door um, on that page yeah So we've opened up to the first spread in this journal. This journal I think I'm just going to be using for these um, prompts that Megan is doing. So I just decided to start off on the first page. Here you can see I am just placing the doors in different locations around the page. Just trying to figure out a composition that I was happy with and what doors I wanted to use. Uh, I then decided I actually should write down my ideas of you know, what each door was going to represent. Um, if you want to know more about this, definitely go and check over, check out Art Witch Tarot um, and have a look at the prompt because it is super fun. Uh, and I won't be going into detail on, you know, all the things. But basically, um, I was choosing the kind of meanings behind each of my doors, each of them kind of being uh, something that I wanted to... Uh, I felt like there could be more to in my life than I have currently. So um, behind each of these doors, there's there's more that I could be I could be finding. So um, yeah, I wanted to plan out each of the doors so that I had an idea for each of each one of them. Here you can see I'm just sort of layering down some different collage pieces in the background. I just didn't like the this this little journal was made out of like old magazine pages it, it's like rough as um it was very thrown together I love it to bits it's just made out of all sorts of junk um but I didn't want the big shiny magazine photo in the background on the left hand page so I kind of just went in with some scraps and sort of laid down a a kind of planar base I guess so that I could work on top of that and I was much happier with that sort of more neutral plain working space to start off with. Mm -hmm. 
coming back in with my doors now, just figuring out um, the layout and how I want to use them. Um, just wear, wear fits. I decided I needed five doors. So those are the five doors that I've got there. Um, I also went into my letters here and just pulled out the letters I needed um, to write the word doors. I kind of had that bigger space at the top there and I thought adding a little title would kind of help pull the page together. And so I just chose the word doors. Obviously, that made a lot of sense for what we were working with here. Um, and I am just, like I said, really loving using magazine images. Also using um, letters that I cut out of magazines. I love making titles using the letters I cut out of magazines. It's just so much fun. So there you can see I've got that word doors written in. And now I am pulling out my tape and just sort of creating a little hinge for each of my doors so that they all open and you can find you know, find stuff behind each of the doors. So the tape, yeah, that's just acting like a hinge so that the doors can flip open and something can be revealed behind them. Each of my doors I had given a specific meaning. So one of these doors, as you can see, I'm writing health. Uh, one of them was, what am I writing here? Marriage. Um, then I also had friendships. Uh, what were the other ones? My um, my faith. And oh, what was the other? Oh, my career. So those were the five doors that I wanted to kind of, I felt that there could be more to in my life. None of these areas are like bad or anything, but just that I felt that I wanted to kind of work on more and have, you know, just better, make them better, you know? I felt like there's still opportunity for improvement in all of these areas and I want to kind of focus in on those specific five. So I cut out those little words. I just, as you can see, wrote them on some tracing paper so that I could kind of see what was behind them. And I'm just going ahead and stapling them onto each of the doors. I sort of decided which, um, which door I wanted and which size, uh, what I could work with for, you know, what, how many images and words and things I wanted to lay in behind each of those doors. It was tricky to choose which one was going to have that little teeny tiny door. Um, in the end, I went with health um, I felt like I could keep that one a little more simple with what I was wanting specifically from that from that door or that opportunity, I guess. Um, as you can see, I'm going back in and I'm adding um, tape on the back side of each of those doors just to make sure that they're really strong and they weren't going to wobble around or fall off or something. So just helps kind of secure it by adding that hinge with the tape on both sides. Uh, now I am going in and having a look through all of these like magazine cut out images that I have floating around everywhere. Um, just picking out things that I think were a good size and that would fit in behind the doors and help sort of represent what I was wanting to bring about in my life in these certain areas. So basically these five areas, so for the health one, I just am really trying to work on a healthy balance of, um, it's mostly with food and my relationship with food, a healthy balance between, um, you know, eating well and eating healthy, but also eating treat foods that I enjoy just because I enjoy them. You know, there's a, there's a balance that needs to be struck there around healthy for your body and healthy for your mind, if you know what I mean. Um, and so that is that is what I'm working on. And then um, for the marriage, I just I just feel like there's always room to make your marriage 
happier, you know, like not, okay, it sounds like it's really bad. It really isn't bad. Um, but you know, there's always ways that you can work on showing each other love more and, um, you know, just making it better, like a hundred times better. Again, it's really not bad at all. I just, it's always an area that I want to keep improving on and keep on, you know, just making it incredible. Um, then we've got my faith. That's another one. Just the relationship um, that I have with my God and everything like that. I just want that to be stronger and stronger. Uh, my friendships. That's why a, a large area that I would like to work on. I feel like that's an area in my life that's um, slipped quite a lot. Um, and then my career. Obviously a new career Um full-time creating I really want to be bringing about all of the good stuff there making lots of fun art that I love working in my journals um you know just being successful in a way that I feel proud of and that I'm enjoying that's you know that's the main thing but also being able to like financially support my family with that money um that I can make from it so you know these are the things that I'm trying to manifest in my life you know so these are what's going behind these doors um, and I'm really happy with how they all turned out actually. I think they ended up looking really pretty cute. We are coming to the end of this video now, friends. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me create in my little art journal here, working on Megan's prompt um, from Art Witch Tarot. Please go and check out that video and her channel there. It's really, really going to be a fun time, I think. So definitely recommend you go and check that out. Here is our closer look. Here is our doors. Um, you can see all of them there. Um, underneath my health door, we have Happy Balance. Then we have the marriage door here with this little um, collage of images. Here's my faith door. And then we've got my friendships door and my career door at the end there. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I will be back again very soon. Go and check out Megan's channel. Uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye.